Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamea's promo. And today, Samsung finally just released the brand new updated wallpapers that you can only find on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Now, I like to shoot this video every few weeks just because sometimes some people are not available to download these wallpapers themselves. And also too, after about two, three weeks, maybe four weeks, all of these are now gone and passed and you're not able to receive and get them. So I do have basically an entire history of all of these wallpapers. If you ever wanna go back in time and download any of them from before. So if you guys follow me on Telegram, you know that this update was pushed out this morning and you already have these ones here already downloaded. So today I'm gonna show you how you can get all of them. I'm gonna show you how you're able to download them and also show you how you can create your own custom wallpaper series. So this way, every time you go to your lock screen, it'll show your own different wallpaper that you set up by yourself. So first off, how you're able to download these, I'll place a link below the video inside the description. Honestly, this is just the easiest way I could do it. There are so many ways you can do it, but for me, this is the easiest way uh, and it's a way to reach out to you guys as well. So here you can see I sent a screenshot showing that the, the updating of dynamic lock screen was happening at that moment this morning. Some people asked for this wallpaper right here, so I just shared it right there. So here is all of the images. Again, once you click on really any of the pictures, you can go back and you can find some of these pictures and you can also download them as well. On the very top right hand side, this is where you can go right here to save to a gallery. Now, if you want to view all of the files, you can tap there. And then this is where you can see all the files I put in different links, different medias, things like that. So again, if you needed to go back in time to find really any wallpaper, this is kind of an archive of everything that Samsung has released. Uh, and so it's actually a really cool place to kind of put it. And again, this is why I shoot this video. So if you would like to set it up by yourself, download these things like that just go anywhere on the screen you can press and hold and head down where it says wallpapers now inside of wallpapers this is where you go inside of the wallpaper services make sure you select dy dynamic lock screen but you're not done yet make sure you hit on this little settings wheel now before we go any further if you guys are brand new here at the channel of jimmy is promo you appreciate these tips tricks tutorials and also sharing of these wallpapers for your samsung phones maybe you've been someone who visited this channel before but you forgot to hit that subscribe button make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. Again, this is all free to do. And if you appreciate this video, again, give it a big thumbs up, comment below the video. It'll help the YouTube algorithm push this video to more and more people. Now you can see here with the dynamic lock screen settings that it does update every two weeks, even though lately it seems like three or four weeks, at least for this update. You can also choose up to five categories. Originally back in the day, it was only one category. Now my favorite one, just so you guys know, is life. So most of the time, if I share something, it's coming from the life category, but art is also really cool. And this time special is pretty fun. Sometimes it's a hit and miss. And for this time, there's at least two or three of them that looks super stellar when it comes down to this dynamic screen that Samsung uses. So this is where you can choose which ones you would like to select. Again, I can choose food, desserts, dogs, and you can see all these here where they have the little download icon. That just means I'm not using them and they weren't down downloaded. If you deselect any of these, you can just simply deselect and then reselect. Now it doesn't take that long to really download it. All that whole time that you saw right there for art to basically be reinstalled into the phone. Uh, that's basically how long all of these also last. I do have auto update turned on, download using mobile data. I don't really care. I want this thing updated quick and fast because you guys usually like this video. So now that I've selected those, now what's going to happen is every time that you go to your lock screen, it's going to change each and every time. Now, how I basically take these images and I save them to my phone is I press and hold on the screen. I make sure that my Samsung Pay tab is not on the lock screen, so I may try to turn that off. I wait for my face recognition, that little light that you saw on the top, I waited for that to go away. So I basically press and hold. It's a way that you can view, even if you have a video set right here, you can watch the whole video. And then from here, this is where I just simply take a screenshot with volume down and power. Now, if you do want to take a look at all of the images in this entire category, basically if you swipe over from the right hand side, it's not on the very end, but it's like starting like right here and you swipe all the way to the corner edge. This is where you can swipe through and you can see all of the images that will be coming up next. So these are all of the pictures that you can select. 
Uh, a lot of these I did download. I got this one just because it looks really cool. Everything is on the bottom with black on the top. And again, that's also going to help you with your battery life, making sure that, you know, anywhere that's dark or black is not going to take up so, so much. But when you do take some of these brighter pictures, the colors, it will take up just a little bit more battery if you set it as your regular home screen, you know, wallpaper, which you can do if you have them all downloaded. So again, here's all the pictures. This one's actually pretty sick, <laughs> really cool, big fan. This is kind of what Samsung usually does anyways with some of their launches with the flowers and stuff, but you got smoke coming through, just a really nice effect. So now that I showed you how you can set it up, how you can take the screenshots by yourself. Uh, again, once you save them, I just have all of mine sitting in the in the gallery and I move them to a folder that's called uh, screen or uh, wallpapers. So inside of this wallpapers folder, you can see that it just goes back and back and back. And these are all of the images again that are stored and saved up on telegram okay so now you might be asking yourself uh let's see i know where i can download them i know how i can set it up i know how, how i can save them i know where you got them we're all good so now it's like okay i have some of these these wallpapers that i've selected even some of the ones in the past how am i able to create my own dynamic lock screen using multiple wallpapers so again just press and hold go inside of wallpapers and this is where you go to gallery now through the gallery, just make sure you scroll down. This is where you go to wallpapers and inside of wallpapers, this is where you select the ones that you would like to use. So now if I go through here, you can have all the way up to 15 images. Uh, you don't have to use 15 images if you don't want to. So let's just say that we go through just a, you know, a few of these ones. I have seven of them selected. Once I hit on done, then what's gonna happen is now it's gonna go through all of these images here. Um, and then you just set it as lock screen. Now, if you want it as your regular home screen, just make sure that you have these images saved to your phone, which they already are. You go, you go back inside of your gallery on the top. You just go to, you know, select as, as, uh, as regular home screen wallpaper. So if I was to select on uh, done, so I just selected it as my lock screen. So now every single time that I go back inside this lock screen, it's really only going to show uh, those images that we selected, and it's also going to go inside of that order. So you can see here, there's the leaves. Here's going to be that flower with the with the smoke or the dust. Here's that one. So yeah, it's it's actually really cool that you're able to do. And if you really don't know how you can set it as your regular. Uh, wallpaper image just tap on the image inside your gallery again tap there set as wallpaper and you can go to home screen and that's how it's all set up and that's basically how I have mine set up right over here with all of these marbles and it looks super super cool but I hope you guys have appreciated this video you guys like this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video the more than likely you'll also like this video and I'll see you guys later